Hello and thank you for joining me. Today's video is about the Pocket Survival Kit and why I've come full circle. Stay tuned. Why have I come full circle? Well, it's the form factor. This is the Polymath Mini Survival Kit in a, in a tin. It's very small. Probably not much bigger than a, a packet of 20 smokes. Um, weighs very little, but has a surprisingly amount of useful items within. Now, if we were going to go on an expedition, or we were going camping, then we would have full-size ferrocerium rods, and a bigger and perhaps more robust survival items with us. Uh, and especially so if you go down the side of the bushcraft angle. However, if you want to carry survival items in perhaps your EDC bag, you don't want a you know a massive pocket organizer with a full-size ferrocerium rod and all the other tools that go with it. Likewise, get home bag, you want to try and keep the weight down a little bit without sacrificing uh, your survival items or even your bug out bag. Yeah, carry the tin as a redundancy, put it in your pocket, so if you end up losing your bug out bag, or you have to, you know, dump it, because you can't move quick enough and, and you've got issues, you know, you need to get away from, then you've got some survival items on you. So for those that don't, their EDC bag doesn't have survival items, or as I say, the get home bag or the bug out bag, then really you should consider purchasing a or making your own survival tin. They're not expensive. The polymath one that I'm about to show you the contents of is about £13. Uh, there are some items in there that I would remove, uh, especially if it's going into an EDC bag or a get home bag. I, I can't see me needing to go fishing. So there'll be certain items that come out. There'll also be certain items that I think uh, it's prudent to put in. But anyway, enough of me waffling. What I'll do is crack open the tin and we'll have a look at the contents. Thank you. We have two of the Polymath survival kits here. This one is as purchased and this one is modified. This one lives in the inside pocket of my outdoorsy coat uh, and what we'll do is we'll look at the contents of the one that's purchased so you'll see what you get for your money and then we'll look at this one which is good, as I say, it's got some modifications, it's got some items that I've added and some items that I've removed. So it comes in a little Ziploc type bag, it's foil packed. Um, the bag itself can be used for keeping tinder in, or because of the foil, the silver side of it, you could cut that up if you so wanted to use it for lures. Uh, for fishing. There is a card on the top that lists the items that are contained. You should note that it does not come with a cutting tool. I can only assume it's because of some of the places that it's sold on, for instance eBay. I know they don't like knives etc. So there's no cutting tool uh, in here. Anyway, let's have a look. So there's your inventory. There are a set of instructions. It shows you what's in there. And then some instructions on how to use the equipment. A small photon type LED so you press and then there is a slider switch on it if you want it on continuously three foot I believe it is three or four foot of 550 cord it's been done as a, a lanyard or a fob and uh, you could unravel that to, to gain your cordage 
a small button compass that is okay for giving you cardinal directions an unlubricated condom as a water carrier a candle this is a combined ferrocerium rod striker which is there and a whistle which is at that end so you can signal if you need to for a serum rod it is the same size rod as you would get in a scout sized ferro rod and then there is a striker for you to be able to use it I like this because of the form factor it's so small and you can purchase these as I say if you want to build your own kit but to be fair these are around four pound I believe on eBay the tin's going to cost you a couple of quid so you're already looking at six quid for those two items and for the sake of 13 pound you get the lot there's a small tin Inside the tin are some split shot, a couple of hooks, some fake bait, a couple of swivels, some fishing line, a couple of safety pins, a mini glow stick and an eyelet if you want to improvise or make an improvised fishing rod. The items that are in this tin are those that I would perhaps take out if it was going to go into an EDC bag or a get home bag and perhaps inside the tin I put something like anti-diarrhea tablets or perhaps some painkillers uh, that's up to you there's an expanding towel uh, you add water and you land up with a big wet wipe or as it says in the instructions what you can do is pick the fibers apart and use it as an emergency tinder there's a little ziplock bag here and it contains some plasters and some water purification tablets so there's two for there's eight water purification tablets it's one tablet per one litre of water. Leave it for 30 minutes and then you should be good to go. Uh, these have got an expiry date of 2025. There's a swab and it is an alcohol based swab. So you can use that for first aid or for fire lighting. And then there is some self adhesive dressing to use it as a plaster, etc. And then finally, no, not finally, sorry. Then there is an emergency sewing kit. There's some buttons, a safety pin, some different colour threads, and a needle. I think there's just one needle there. And then right in the base of the tin, which I can't get out, which is good. There you go. Not ideal, sorry about this. I should have been perhaps a little bit more organized. But in the base is an acrylic mirror. It has a film over it to protect it from scratches. You peel that off and then you have a mirror for first aid if you've got something in your eye or to signal. So that's the contents of the shop bought kit as it comes. Next what we'll do is have a look in the one that I've modified that I carry in my pocket when I'm doing outdoorsy things. This is my modified version. I keep it in the same bag that it comes in. But I 
have literally just got two pages of writing the rain paper, the mirror that comes normally in the bottom of the tin is there, it's in this little wallet because it also contains a Fresnel lens. So these are items that I've actually added to the kit. I've put some tape around the tin. It will keep the moisture out, although it's fairly good in the bag. But obviously it gives me some tape should I need to use it. Or should I have a need to use it. So, we have the candle, exactly the same. I've added four pieces of Tinder Quick, a pencil, three storm matches, a striker for the storm matches, Button compass for cardinal direction. A tin opener. Same torch. Exactly the same. In here, I've got one large needle. It's a bit like a sailboat needle. And I've already threaded uh, some cotton, well it's not actually cotton, it's a braid, uh, through it and then wrapped it round it. Primarily because whilst the mini sewing kit that was in the original tin is fine, my eyesight's not so good and having to sit there trying to thread a needle, especially a needle that small that comes with the kit, is a no-no for me. So I've got a pre-threaded needle, so if I need to repair clothing or items of kit, I'm good to go. I haven't got a faff about. There's some brass wire, so you could make a snare with it if you needed to. Bear in mind this one's in my outdoorsy coat, uh, it's not really for an urban environment as such, or it could just be used for repairing things. There's a sewing bobbin with some fishing braid on there. There is a lot of braid on there. I can't remember the exact amount, but it's probably a minimum of 20 meters of braid and that's emergency cordage because it is very strong or if you did want to go fishing or to repair items, etc. Same little tin as was in the big one. What I've added to it, because as I say, it doesn't come as standard with a cutting edge. All I've added so this it's exactly the same as the fishing kit was in the other one is a single sided razor blade combined ferro rod whistle and striker exactly the same as the shop bought item The alcohol swab, exactly the same. This, I've got 10 Puri tabs, so there's two more than in the shop bought one. And these expiry 2027, again, exactly the same. One tablet per litre, wait half an hour. Unlubricated water carrier, unlubricated condom. I've put it in a mini ziplock just to protect it. When you buy the kit from the store, it's just loose. So I've put it in a ziplock to offer it some protection. A couple of scalpel blades. As I say, the original one doesn't come with cutting edge. And then just four plasters. So this is my modified version. As I was saying, 
You could build your own, but to be fair, unless you already own the items, it's more expensive to buy the individual items than it is to buy the kit. It gives you an idea of what comes with it, what you can do with it. I would strongly recommend that you consider buying them, especially if you've got people in your, you know, in your family or whatever, you might have done them a get home bag or their EDC bag, but they're not really into it. One of these tins at least gives them some options uh, if it all goes pear shaped. Just for transparency, I've bought all of these. I own about four or five of these kits are in a bob out, uh, bag out bags, etc. Paid for with my money. I've got no connection with Polymath other than being a happy customer. If you found a video useful, as usual, hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing. It's nice to, to know that I'm actually reaching an, a bigger audience each time. And I would love to see your comments. If you've got any ideas, perhaps you've already got something like this and you want to share, or if there's any recommendations for what can be added. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.